Here's how to fix if you're not receiving text messages on your iPhone. Now, the very first step is we're gonna head into your settings here and we'll do a number of things in the settings. So let's scroll down to the very bottom and tap on apps at the very bottom. Now from here, we'll just go down to the messages section here and we're gonna to toggle on and off a couple of things. So find messages and tap on that. Now, the very first thing that you will see is it says iMessage and that is toggled on. We're gonna turn off iMessage and wait a few seconds and turn it back on. You'll be able to see it says waiting for activation. This essentially means it's gonna reactivate your iMessage. And now after we've done that, it should be working better. We'll hit on send and receive, and we wanna make sure your phone number is checked. Now, some people might have their emails checked as well, and if that's the case, that's okay, but you definitely wanna make sure that the phone number is checked for starting a new conversation and where you can receive messages. You can uncheck the emails if you don't necessarily want those. Now, after that, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna scroll down to a couple of other things. You can see here, send as text message. If this is turned off, essentially when you normally send an iMessage, the blue bubble, and if it doesn't work, if you don't have good internet or whatever issue, then as automatically it will switch over to a text message, the green text message bubble. So you wanna make sure that is turned on and so that you can send and receive text to people with Androids and stuff like that. Now, another thing that we will do here is we'll scroll down and tap on RCS messaging and make sure that is turned off. Now, this is a brand new feature. If this is turned off, then essentially some text messages could cause issues if they're sending photos or reactions or stuff like that. Now, let's also go back here and you can see filter unknown senders. If this is turned on, essentially in your messages app, it will filter all of those unknown senders, people that are not in your contacts list, and they will put them in a different place where you just might not be able to see them. So I would recommend turning this off. Now, after we've done all of these things, let's just go back out of here and we're gonna scroll up and tap on general and then scroll to the very bottom. We're gonna do two things here. The first one is we're just gonna hit the shutdown button. So we're gonna turn off your phone and restart it. You'd be surprised how many times just shutting down and rebooting your iPhone will fix a lot of issues. Your phone could have been running for days or weeks without a proper reset. So just do that. The next thing we'll do is hit transfer or reset iPhone and hit reset. And from here you can see reset network settings. Let's tap on that and enter in the password for your phone here. And it says this will delete all network settings and bring them back to factory default because your messages, text messages, and iMessages both work as well with your Wi-Fi or your cell data. You wanna make sure those are working properly. Now, the last thing I would recommend doing is taking your finger, swiping down from the top right, and just toggling on airplane mode waiting for a few seconds discon disconnects from your Wi-Fi, but also your cell data, and then just turning the airplane mode back off again, and it should reconnect to everything, and you should be able to send and receive text messages that should be working normally at that point. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.